Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Today here we have these five amazing devices. First one is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus with Snapdragon 855 processor. And then we have the newly released uh, Poco X3 Pro with Snapdragon 860 processor. Next is the Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro 5G, uh, which has the Snapdragon 865 processor. And then we have the Poco F3 or Redmi K40, which has the new Snapdragon 870 processor. And uh, lastly, we have this uh, ROG Phone 5, uh, which is the newest from ASUS, uh, which has the Snapdragon 888 processor. So we have all these uh, five generations of the Snapdragon flagship SoC. And we are going to do a benchmark and stress test comparison between all of them. So before we start any of these tests, right, let me ask you to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss my future review videos. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the first test we are going to do is N22 benchmark. So just to give you some background, the room temperature is around 24 or 25 degrees. Okay, now the N22 benchmark has finished and uh, let's take a look at the results. It's very interesting, right? We see a very consistent trend of improvement across all the generations. So basically from Snapdragon 855 to 888, every model number, you see a, a few like a 50 or 70K of score improvement. Yes, a larger number means stronger performance. Next, we'll do Geekbench 5 benchmark. And after the N22 benchmark, I have already left the device for a few minutes for them to cool down. So now all the devices are cool and they won't thermal throttle. Okay, so from the result of the Geekbench 5, we see a very similar trend uh, to N22. So basically from 855 to 888, uh, which with every model number jump, you see a performance improvement, both in terms of single core and multi-core which is very nice. So larger number means better performance. Next, uh, we'll test the 3D Mark uh, Wildlife. And of course, again, all the devices are cool and so they won't thermal throttle. Okay, so the results are out and uh, it's very similar to previous rounds, uh, basically the larger number, the stronger performance. And we do see a, a larger jump of performance gap uh, between the Snapdragon 870 and 888. So it seems that the 888 uh, does a, has a more significant generational improvement here. Okay, next up, I'll do a wildlife uh, stress test. So basically this test will stress out the GPU for at least 20 minutes and uh, it will record the, uh, basically it will record the sustained performance, right? Because when you play games, you play for a prolonged session. You do not just play for one minute. So this is a more interesting test so that we can see uh, which of the device has better sustained performance. Okay, so the results are out. We see that uh, the Snapdragon 855, 860, and 865 are able to maintain almost 100% of performance for the full 20 minutes of test. And uh, the Snapdragon 870 and 888 has some different uh, degree of uh, throttling. But what is good is that uh, because their performance are so good, so even after throttling, they still have better performance than their uh, predecessors. And uh, lastly, we'll do an N22 CPU stress test and see how the CPU part of these SOCs perform on the sustained load.
Okay, so this time is quite interesting. It's different from my previous test. Uh, in this test, all the phones managed to finish the test without uh, battery overheating. And the results are actually quite complicated, so um, I won't describe it. You can just take a look at the uh, result yourself. Okay, guys, so finally I've made an Excel uh, spreadsheet to uh, to consolidate all the results. So here I use uh, the color scheme to uh, represent which perform the best, which perform the worst, and uh, which are in between. Uh, hope this uh, form helps you. And uh, all right, that's all for today's video. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please give me a thumb up and remember to subscribe my channel for further updates. All right, so, so see you next time.